That really reminds me of one of my favourite programmes, which is Inside the Factory. The one with Greg Wallace, and he does things like explain potato waffles and stuff like that. And he's always inside a factory, wearing a hairnet, <laughs> but he don't have no hair. <laughs> and he's always like... <laughs> so you're telling me that, like, every single day, 200 million thousand potato waffles <laughs> come through? <laughs> These factories <laughs> right here. I don't know, I know you. And, and then whoever does the sound is just clearly some millennial because, like, they'll show all the potato waffles going along the conveyor belt and be like, wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. <laughs> Um, I love the story um, about you stalking Anna Kendrick in your Netflix special as well. So I don't really get super starstruck, but my daughter has people that she likes. She likes Miranda Sings, a lot of YouTubers, and Anna Kendrick, who's an amazing actress. And I will stalk a bitch for my child. <laughs> um, and she said, please, mommy, please, can we see Anna Kendrick when she's in London? And I was like, no. She's like, but you're on television, mommy. I'm like, you want to have lunch with Ramesh? I can sort that out. I'm not. Like, but my manager did know her manager. I asked the question and he yeah. was like all right I can't guarantee you a meeting but I'll tell you where she'll be she'll be at this posh hotel in London promoting a movie if you go there you might see her but if you do the child has to remain calm mm -hmm. and I was like don't worry about my child she's so calm she's very fancy she's a really good kid yeah. I always say we're not like a mom and a 10 year old we're like two 10 year olds but one of us has cellulite and a credit card <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then uh, I took her to the hotel and we sat right outside the press day, like right outside, hoping we'd see her on the way in. But she came around the back, we didn't see her. And I thought, oh, there you go, Violet. We had a fun time. You don't always get what you want. And then I heard the little clickety clack of Anna Kendrick's heels coming yeah. towards my child. And she walked right up to Violet and she goes, hi, you must be Violet. And I burst into tears. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, oh my God, she loves me so much. She loves me so much. <laughs> and Violet's like, oh, sorry about my mummy. She's Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> but Steve, we can't have you here without talking about Alan Partridge, man. That is huge, man. Do people think that you're Alan Partridge? Do people Some think people do shout, aha, at me. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, some people do. They go, Alan, Alan. And I go, my name's Steve. And they go, yeah, I know Alan. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, I can't complain. It sort of, you know, pays my mortgage. So. And Asim, with your buddy G, is it the same thing? Yeah, yeah, of course. I think it's like, the, like you know, obviously, it's, it's, they get a bit disappointed when they, they realise, I don't chat like that, mate. You know, like I chat normally. <laughs> but then sometimes I get, like, white people coming up to me and they do the accent. I feel like, you know, like, everyone's like, oh, you can't do an Indian accent if you're white. You know, they're like, that's racist, you can't do an Indian accent. For me, it's all about the level of detail that you've taken into that accent. If That's someone it. comes up to me and yeah. does a really bad Indian, hello, mate, papa, don't papa. I'm just going, <laughs> yeah, like, you know, you're not getting a picture. Stop. <laughs> now, you know what I mean? Look, stop right now. <laughs> but if someone comes up to me and does a good Chabadi G accent, yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, you know, well, it's the same thing. It does a really good partridge. Then I'm like, okay, that's cool. You're, al you know, you're allowed to do that. You base Chabadi G on your dad. Right? Yeah, like, partly. He actually loves the character. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, kind of when the joke's on someone, they don't really get it, and, like, Chabadi's, like, a bit of a loser. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I don't know what you mean, he's a very smart man. <laughs> you know, so it's like, it's sweet. You know, he's like, it's, it's almost a compliment. <laughs> but, Lee, you as a stand-up comic, you know, you've won a BAFTA, but you don't really use social media because you've got a Twitter account of almost 100,000 followers, but you've never tweeted. Never. What's going on there? Because I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> So if you was to tweet, what would your first tweet say? What would you say? Get a life. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I, if I want to tell people stuff, I just, like, put a little poster up in my local chip shop. <laughs> but, Ashleen, on your downtime, you're a big fan of Love Island as well. Yes, uh, and an Irish person half won it this year with Amber, which mm -hmm. I was so excited about. And then there was also uh, Queen of Ireland, Maura, on it. Yeah. Which, oh, my God, like, every time I watch her, my vagina is throbbing. Yeah. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen Love Island? I haven't. This is elite-level TV. Cos what happens, yeah, you get some guys that, that like, cos guys will watch it, and you get these weird guys that, oh, what, what, so what, so what, bruv? You watch Love Island, yeah? <laughs> oh, my days, bruv, like, you're a loser. Shut <laughs> up, you prick, man. Like, it's, it's, it's actually good TV. It's, it's brilliant yeah. TV, cos it's kind of anthropology. It's watching how we all work and how we get together, and you're like, oh, that could be me, or that mm. one could be me. It's basically like musical chairs, but instead of trying to sit on different chairs as penises. Um, <laughs> They've got this thing, right? So what's happening? When they're all in the villa, they've got to couple up, right? Sorry, just to clarify. They go in and they're, they're meant... They, they're... You find love on an They're island. trying no, no, to no, They find love other. or yes. they, they're supposed yeah. to have sex with each other? Yeah, well, it's better when they Some do. of them do. Some of them have sex, right? Okay. So as they go through... But you through... don't see that. All you see is this. Yeah. Tink, touch your own And they're like... <laughs> 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 my mum was watching. 
that. <laughs> now, Steve, you do a lot of impressions. Who's your favourite person to impersonate? Um, whenever we do the trip, me and Rob, we always end up doing our Michael Caine impressions. And that's always good fun because there's, uh, there's two kinds of Michael Caine. There's the Michael Caine when he was younger, when he spoke like that, and then there's a Michael Caine, do he speaks like now, which is a bit more older and a little bit more croaky like that. <laughs> but, and, <laughs> and then he went, and when he shouts, it totally changes again. You do a good Arnold Schwarzenegger though? I can do quite a good, I did act to act with Arnold <laughs> yeah. I did a scene with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was in a hot tub with him. <laughs> Many years ago, he was good. I, I, said, I, I, I made a conversation, I was in the trailer, I didn't know what to say to him. I said, um, what do you, I, I believe you drive a Hummer. I went, yes, I have four. I drive them around LA. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking my cigar. Now, Catherine, you are brilliant on roast battles, so I want to play a game with you called Toast or Roast. Okay. Yeah? So if you see someone you like, you toast. Cheers! Huh. If you see someone you don't like, you give them a roast. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. So, first we have Leonardo oh. DiCaprio. A toast or a roast? See, he's never dated a woman over 25. And that was cool for the true? first what? 25 years of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Even Giselle, he dated her till she was 25 and then she was in the bin. And I think when you're 25, you feel chosen. But what it really is, is that no woman his own age wants to fuck with him. Uh-uh. Whoa! That is a roasting if they have ever... That is a Sunday roast! That's a roast ever! I mean, like... Who do you have next? We're not getting on the yacht. Okay. <laughs> Cheryl Cool. I also like Cheryl Cool. The, the nation's sweet toad. <laughs> yeah. She's so tiny, though. If she was born in the winter, she wouldn't have made it. You know? <laughs> tiny. <laughs> tiny. <laughs> and you just, you just, you can't knock her down. Yeah. You know? Like, even God had to go, malaria, she won't die. She's. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> yeah, she's one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Toast. Toast. <laughs> 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 I like her. We got our last one. Oh, took the only Megan viable Markle. ginger cock off the market. <laughs> <laughs> I think she, yeah, she's stolen Prince Harry from right under my nose. However, mm -hmm. I think the media don't treat her very well. I'm excited to see mixed ethnicity in the royal family. Toast. Mm -hmm. yeah. Toast. Yeah. Yeah, get off of Ryan. We're now joined in the scene by a man sweeping who is Spanish. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> what are you doing in my shop? <laughs> now I have to do your voice too. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you here again, and I'm glad that you are also deaf so you could use sign language. <laughs> Do you think that he would maybe, uh, dye my girly bits while you cut my hair? <laughs> Yes, he's, he's very good at dying girly bits. <laughs> he's been doing it since uh, he, was, he was 19. Wow. Come on over here and dye her girly bits. <laughs> <laughs> you can use your, the tools of sign language that you know really well. <laughs> <laughs> Due to the British regulator Ofcom, that would not be allowed as it may be offensive to our viewers. 